Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on skills unit six and it's a pausing point day. By the end of this lesson today, you should be able to blend sounds to say words, say letter sounds and lowercase letter names, read the tricky words, point and read from left to right, and read Pip's Cats with purpose and understanding. So we're going to start today off by reviewing our letters and sounds. Let's say them together. M says M. Mm. A says A. Eh. T says T. D says D. O says A. Ah. C says K. G says G. I says I. N says N. H says H. S says S. F says F. V says V. Z says Z. P says P. E says E. B says B. L says O. R says R. U says U. W says W. J says J. Y says Y. X says X. K says K. Q says Qu. Excellent job with those letters and sounds. Now it's time to chain. Let's blend these sounds together and read the word. F, uh, mm, fun. So if this says fun and we change the f to a b, our new word is, that's right, bun. And if we change the n to a s, our new word would be, that's right, bus. And if we add a t to bus, our new word would be, you got it, bust. And if we change the b to er, our new word would be, that's right, rust. And if we change the a uh to eh, our new word would be, that's right, rest. And if we change the s to n, our new word would be, good, rent. And if we change the er to w, our new word would be went, that's right. And if we change the n to p, our new word would be wet, that's right. And if we change the p to s, our new word would be good, west. Nice job chaining, boys and girls. Okay, so now we're going to play a game. It's called Guess and Spell the Word. So I am going to ask you some riddles, and I want you to guess the word, and then we are going to spell them together, okay? So listen to the riddles. The first one is, something we drink that comes from a cow is called what? That's right, milk. Milk. So let's spell milk. We'll use the letters to smell, to, or the sounds to spell milk. You ready? M, I, O, K, milk. Good. All right, here's the next one. A bird lays its eggs in a what? That's right, a nest. So let's spell nest using the sounds. M. E -s -t nest. Perfect. Okay, the next one is the piece of clothing you wear on your legs is called the pair of what? That's right, pants. Let's say the sounds in pants. P -e -t -t -s pants. Very good. All right, let's do another one. 
When you come to a red light, you have to, that's right, stop. Let's spell stop using sounds. Stop. Stop. Very good. Here's another one. The opposite of first is, that's right, last. Let's spell last. O -a -st. Last. Very good. Let's do another one. The part of a tree remaining when you cut it down is called the what? That's right, stump. Let's spell stump using sounds. St -a -m -p. Stump. Very good. Let's do another one. When you go camping, you might sleep in a... That's right, a tent. Let's spell tent. T -e -n -t. Tent. Very good. Let's do one more. The part of the plant that supports the leaves and the flowers is called the... That's right, the stem. Let's spell stem. St -e Mm, stem. Round of applause. Very good spelling, boys and girls. Now it's time to review our tricky words. Let's say them together. One, two, three, the, a, blue, yellow, look, I, R. Little. Great job at those tricky words. Oh my goodness, another new story. I'm so excited. The title of the story is called Pip's Cats. Pip's Cats. <gasps> Didn't Kit have cats too? <gasps> wow, so someone else have, has cats. So here we have our title page. And this page is the table of contents. Can you look for the title, Pip's Cats? That's right, there it is. And slide your finger across those dots and tell me what page Kit's Cats start on. That's right, page 77. Okay, Pip's Cats, so I'm going to read it first and then we're going to read it together. So you can just listen. Pip is Kit's pal. Pip has six cats. <gasps> Can you believe it? He has six cats? Wow. Pip's cats got in mud. Pip's cats left mud on his rug. Oh no. Pip's mom got mad. Uh-oh, she looks very mad. All right, it's your turn to read with me. Get your pointer finger out and point under each word from left to right. You ready? Pip is Kit's pal. Pip has six cats. Pip's cats got in mud. Pip's cat left mud on his rug. Pip's mom got mad. Excellent reading today, boys and girls. Now it's time to answer some questions about the story. Remember, use complete sentences. If you need help remembering, you can always pause the video, rewind it, and read the story again. So who are the main characters in the story? That's right. The characters in the story are Pip and his mom. How many cats does Pip have? That's right. Pip has six cats. That's a lot of cats, huh? Why does Pip's mom get mad at the cats? That's right. The cat's got mud on the rug. Describe how the cats get mud on the rug. Hmm, think about that. 
That's right. The cats got, they got in mud and trapped it inside the house. So they went outside and got mud all over their little paws and brought it in the house. What is the setting of the story? Look at the illustrations to help answer this question. That's right. The setting of the story is inside Pip's house. Excellent job with those questions, boys and girls. Now I need you to head over to Skills 6 Pausing Point Google Forms and fill it out. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.